How did you use new media technologies in the construction and research planning and evaluation stages? Banerjee Burn and Buckingham in 2010 stated that creativity is not inherent, but is due to the development of digital technologies. As a group, we agree with this stalemate, as we have used a variety of digital technologies for the research, planning, construction, evaluation stages for the production of our music video and ancillary products. We created an indie rock music video for Sheffield band Fraser for their original song, Shine the Light. As well as this, we each individually created an ancillary promotional package consisting of an eight panel digipack and a poster. Our aim was to target the subculture of indie, Dip Hegdige, 1979, aged between 16 and 24, with a 70% male, 30% female split. We passed each micro elements and themes from real media text. For example, Arctic Monkeys Wide Around the Corner When You're High, The Drunken Walk Home and the Getting Drunk scenes in the narrative, Swim Deep She Changed the Weather, the intro and outro scenes with the flashing band logo, and Haim The Wire, the heartbreak theme from the narrative. In our music video we have created stereotypical representations of the indie subculture in order to create preferred reading and very similitude for the target audience. As well as this, we have also challenged areas and media theory. For example, we have challenged the binary opposite of gender, Claude Levi Strauss 1980, as we have role reversed the stereotypical roles of dominance, making the male subordinate and the female dominant in the narrative. In this video we have used new media technologies in order to research, plan and construct and evaluate our music video and ancillary products. Technological determinism, Thornstein Veblen, 1921, states that the introduction of new media technologies can significantly change society. As a group, we agree with this stalemate, as we have made use of multiple new media technologies to target our audience. Our audience are digital natives, meaning that their use of digital technologies, such as Web 2.0, Dale Doherty and Tim O'Reilly 2004, and non-linear software throughout the production of our products has allowed us to meet our target audience. In the research and planning stages of our productions, we made use of many different new media technologies to help us to collect and gather information on real media text and existing media products. Web 2.0, Dale Doherty and Tim O'Reilly 2004, an example of technology that was used massively during research and planning. At the beginning of the production process, we created a Facebook group chat so that we could easily communicate with each other, passing on ideas and resources efficiently. This communication method expanded to email as we emailed each other resources such as documents and images so that we were all aware of our production progression. This example highlights PJ Fury's technological convergence theory in 2004 as we communicated through web apps on computers, smartphones and tablets. This made it easy to communicate within a group without the use of computers in lesson. We also used our smartphones and computers to access our WordPress blogs. This allowed us to quickly and efficiently upload photos, documents and videos to our blogs and then evaluate our work on all of one device, wherever we were, Technological Convergence, Henry Jenkins 2008. Overall this meant that throughout the research and planning stages we met Marshall McLuhan's 1968 Global Village Theory as we believe that as digital natives using various new technologies to communicate we were able to be interconnected through technology, an example of synergy. In terms of conducting primary research on real media text and existing products, Web 2.0, Doherty and O'Reilly 2004, was a tool largely used as our source of research and information. We used web apps such as YouTube and Vivo to find and watch existing indie music videos so we could gain an understanding of how the key music video coding conventions, Goodwin 1992 and Carlson, were put into practice in indie music videos. For example, Arctic Monkeys, Why Do You Only Call When You're High, Haim the Wire and Swim Deep She Changes the Weather. These are also examples of music videos that we gained and pastiche ideas from based on their use of coding conventions and how they present the typical and similar themes of heartbreak that we plan to include in our own music video. We were then able to download the videos by using safefrom.net and edit them in the Windows Live Movie Maker non-linear editing software. We use Windows Movie Maker to cut the elements that we pastiche from each music video by editing them on the whole video and putting them together. We also used it to create individual music video analysis videos by anchoring images, videos and sound together to create an accessible, effective revision format. 
We then uploaded these to YouTube, our WordPress blogs, so that we could give specific examples of what we had pastiche from other music videos. For example, the drunken walk home sequence from the Arctic Monkeys video, and the heartbreak narrative scenes from the Hame video, and the opening and closing scenes with the band logo in the Swim Deep video, were put into separate videos so that our pastiching intentions were clearly presented. We all found that by doing this throughout the entire production process, we were able to record work in a professional and technologically advanced way. It also allowed us to refer back to the previous work and research material during production. During our research into similar media texts, we found that the semantic web John Mark of 2006 was being used as we were giving suggestions for music videos from other indie artists based on our previous searches. For example, whilst watching the Hame video, music videos from the Arctic Monkeys, The Neighbourhood and Foster the People were given to us. We used this to our advantage and felt that by watching some of the videos that we were suggested to us, we could expand our understanding of codes and conventions and generic themes of music videos even further, based on them sharing the same genre. In the evaluation stage of our coursework, we used various new media technologies to help answer the four evaluation questions, and this allowed us to express the preferred reading, Stuart Hall 1980, that we were creative. As Banerjee Byrne and Buckingham in 2010 said that if creativity is not inherent, then technology allows us to be creative. One of the main software programs that was used at the evaluation stage was the 2013 edition of Microsoft Word, which was used to write the scripts for all the videos. Once they were written though, we needed to transfer them from a written medium to a video medium. One of the first new media technologies used to do this was Windows Live Movie Maker, where pictures, videos and most importantly sound could be anchored to create an evaluation video, as creativity involves the physical making of something linked to some form of communication, expression or revelation. David Gauntlet, 2007. This helped, as for the evaluation question one in particular, in what ways does your media product use, develop or challenge forms the conventions of real media products, our pastiche real media texts, such as the Why Do You Know Call Me On Your High music video by the Arctic Monkeys, the Wire music video by Hame, and Swim Deep She Changed the Weather music video, could be shown on screen with particular emphasis being paid to specific elements that we pastiche, as this being showed in our evaluation videos allowed us to bring something new into creation, David Gohl in 2007 as a group. Pictures can also be added to a Windows Live Movie Maker video, indicating its non-linear editing software capabilities, and pictures of the band's A logo pastiche from Swim Deep She Changed the Weather music video, which links in with Bentley's 2007 theory of rearranging the old to create the new, and pictures of theories being talked about at that particular point in time, could be shown on screen helping add to the visual elements of the evaluation videos. In terms of sound, this too could be imported to a Windows Live Movie Maker video. When recording in certain videos, we use the Olympus Digital Voice Recorder VN8700PC to allow for greater sound quality when recording and to allow our evaluation videos to have the preferred reading Stuart Hall 1980 of appearing both professional and organised. Pete Fraser 2007. However, in other instances, an iPhone 5C voice memos application was used to record voices when creating the evaluation videos, and in some instances, a HP Pavilion laptop sound recorder application was used as well, demonstrating how technological convergence PJ Fury 2004 was used in the evaluation stages of our coursework productions.